Ladies and gentlemen of the Splatoon community, we have been spoiled today! Oh my goodness, I literally just woke up probably... Oh god, not even 10 minutes ago. Uh, no, no, about 10 minutes ago. I, I got up, I, I, you know, I did things in the morning, and... Uh, all of a sudden I looked at Twitter and I saw that Nintendo posted a tweet, and, uh, Splatoon 3's release date was revealed, along with the corresponding trailer. So, you know, I took little sneak peeks of that, and then I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I can't do that. I gotta record it. I gotta talk about this. This is awesome. I think a lot of people have been waiting for this information. I've been waiting for a lot of this information. What we're gonna do here today is we're gonna go take a look at the release date trailer, see what's new, see what's different. I might pause this video every once in a while to see with my what my uncle at Nintendo decided to add to Splatoon 3 uh, as a few additions. But if you guys are enjoying the content here on the channel, just before we get started into this, just make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, that would make my day. And let's let's watch this because this is my my hype is through the roof right now. Let's go. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Right right off the bat, maybe I should watch it first. But right off the bat, okay, this is cool. They have like titles. What I don't know what the hashtags are for. But they have titles, the the opening music. I'm sorry, can we just listen to I'm gonna let the trailer play. Maybe I'll pause it every once in a while. I'm just can we we're gonna listen to this. Oh! Oh! The startup battle music is awesome. And this is cool. Oh, whoa! Okay, I don't know if you if anybody noticed that right off the bat. I'm sorry to pause it because we're gonna be pausing as we go through this trailer, but as you launch out of the uh the, the essentially the espresso the machine, your character seems to have like ink armor on. The, either, either this could be uh invincibility, or ideally this could be so, uh something else. So I don't know, I don't know what this is right here. But this seems like we're gonna have maybe Ink Armored is making a, a, a quote unquote return in Splatoon 3, but as like uh, an invincibility thing for uh, your, your spawn in. Maybe you're invincible for a few seconds when you spawn in, or maybe you are, you have like an extra hit when you spawn in. That way the game stays uh, very fluent, very frantic. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is invincibility for like one or two seconds, because this does last quite a while, and I love the new. Uh, I think the new UI kind of looks a little simple. Like, look at the bucket icon and the brush icon. It's like they're they're flat, two-dimensional, like, paintings, almost. It's like the new art style that goes with the Land of Chaos. And I think it looks really cool. I think it actually looks really cool, so let's continue with it. Obviously, getting a nice big look at the new map, and that's pretty, that's pretty massive. I like that a lot. Obviously, we're watching this from spectator mode as well, which is really cool. Um, and we're getting some fights right in the beginning with the 52 gal. Obviously, they, they of course they show the 52 gal because you know that's how the meta is right now. We've got it looks like the Splatter Shop Pro has the crab tank. Uh, I forgot what the I had to look what the 52 had. I thought it was the killer whale, the new 5.1. But that what what is this? This is interesting. I wanna I wanna watch this. Look, this right here. That came off, that came out of the bow. I don't know if that was a bow shot or if it wasn't, but it looks like uh, instead of a single shot bow, when you just do a normal charge bow, is this the, are these the bow shots here? They look kind of like fireworks almost. They kind of look like ink fireworks, but it's interesting to see. But if you notice, you also get this, this thing too. There's a, it switches. Look, watch the, Watch the inkling here throw. You've got like a flare. Almost. Watch, watch. And then it changes after you throw it. Obviously, it's switching over to another character, but uh, it switches the suction bomb. I, I thought it changed for a second, but this looks like a new type of bomb. And honestly, it seems similar to this. It seems similar to the firework, and it looks like it does direct damage and even pierce. And we get a good look at the tri Zuko, which unfortunately does not paint your feet when you shoot, but. Man, those ink explosions are huge. Hold on, let's, I want I want to watch this again. How how big these ink explosions are? Those are massive. The shield obviously being used to protect the charger. That's a cool use of it. But it looks like it shrank. 
uh, as well. Like, if, watch. Uh, you can't, you, it's tough to see there, but watch. Boom, it gets hit from a yellow thing on the top. So that shield shrinks. So, and I, th so I, I, I wonder if this special can be destroyed. The shield size like slightly shrinks on this. I, w I wonder if they'll show a better angle of that later, but obviously showing off uh, what all the specials can do for this is really cool. I love the little play mark thing. That's really neat. We've got uh, a new special here. I don't know what this is. We're going to see it. Oh, we are. It absorbs enemy ink. Oh, wow. Hold on. We, I want to, I want to watch this like really slowly because look, look at this. I'm going to, I'm going to turn the sound off so you can hear this, but look at this. It's actually like absorbing the ink shots that are coming uh, toward the players as they walk toward the brush. It's absorbing as much ink as it can. And then it just unleashes a, and obviously that's direct damage. That's like a rainmaker kill right there. But then it unleashes like, a, I would say like an ink zooka sized explosion or something like that. That's really neat. I like that. I don't know what the name of that special is, but I want to see it. I want to see what it's called. Uh, the bow has the killer whale. Interesting. This is the, the new killer whale and toxic mist is back. Now this has got to be the zip caster. And we are going to get to see it in that. Oh my god, that's sick. Oh, that's so sick. Oh man, it doesn't look like you get a lot of zip time though. But you can attach to the walls of the stage if there's walls. Like the out of bounds walls, basically. Oh man, people are going to find ways to break the game. That's so cool. Uh, this is my main special. You can't convince me. And you can't take damage. I was wondering if you'd be able to take damage in the crab tank. And you can. Uh, it, you notice, I don't know if it, it, you get shot directly if you take damage. Let's take another look at it. Yeah, no. That that went, uh, so that looked like a slosh over the crab. And you can take damage. So you can die. You can die when you are using the crab tank. Obviously, no special is going to be, I don't think, completely invulnerable in this game. I don't... Zipcaster doesn't even look like it's going to be completely invulnerable either. Maybe invulnerability when you're zipping around unless you can get sniped out of the air. But the moment you land with Zipcaster, sure, you have like the Zipcaster effect, but you can still probably be splatted. The same thing kind of goes to the crab tank here. There's another hit, but notice when they go in, it seems like when you roll into the crab tank, you get some increased recovery uh, a little bit because that started to disappear like almost right away. But I love the crab tank. I I think this is I think this is awesome. It's got rapid fire mode. It's got a, a cannon here. Rapid fire, three shot kill, cannon. Uh, that did splash damage. If you notice the first shot here, that splash damage didn't kill anybody. Uh, the second one does, but I guarantee you a direct hit will kill. And I love it. It just, it just disappears. That's so interesting. I can't get over how freaking insane the music is. That new bomb thing is so interesting. That does come from the bow. All right, here, here's the killer whale, 5.1, obviously tracking, uh, tracking players. I wonder if that'll be better in different spots. Hold up, hold up. Guys, hold on. I didn't even notice this until they started activating the special. Look at their special in the corner. That's Ink Strike. But it looks like they changed it into a bomb launcher format. Ink Strike Launcher. A lot of people were thinking, man, are we going to see Ink Strike back? Ink Strike was such a good special. Ink Strike the Launcher! Oh my goodness. And it looks like, like very specifically, with Ink Strike Launcher, it is it does act as a bomb launcher. Uh, you, uh, you, <laughs> This is cute, actually. Oh my god. So you pull out a little backpack that has three mini ink strikes and then you have like targeting orbs in, in your hands. This is the targeting orb right up here. Uh, and you throw the targeting orbs and where you throw the targeting orbs is where the ink strikes land and they almost come down instantaneously. And they do hit above structures and they do hit below. Uh, that's on the structure itself. That's really neat. I really like ink strike launcher. This is cool. This is such a cool idea to bring back Ink Strike and how they do it. That's so neat. I love that.
Also, uh, the last minute theme here. I just want to I want I want to point back so you can hear it. And I also want to go back to uh, this right here with the bow real quick before we uh, play through the trailer more. A normal shot with the bow just puts ink on the ground here. Now watch, watch this. There's another normal shot with the bow. And now they have it charged. So you see it right here that they have it charged. But now watch what happens when they shoot. Okay, that was a miss. Okay, they're charged again. They shoot. And now all of a sudden here you've got your ink rockets again. So is the charge on the uh the splat bow going to be uh kind of charger like where it will insta kill and then these will explode after so i wonder if you can get like an insta kill on the pierce and then these explode after in the ink i don't know pretty cool here um but let's uh let's see the killer whale five one again obviously uh th i think they break off when they lock on to the nearest target that notice how the two broke off right away the next two break off and then the next two break off but they were all targeting the same person but it seems like they try and move around. I think having angles of those would be better. Here we go, Ink Strike Launcher again. And our last minute theme. Oh, it's such a good remix of it, too. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, I was right. And again, the bow charge again. That That's really cool. So, the shield does come up. And if you notice, when someone hits the top of it, splat bow or not, boom. The shield immediately shrinks. Oh, and it does. Look, the, the charge on the bow, it is dropping these little rockets. If you notice, the one misses, the third shot misses, and it lands in the back right here. And that's residual. That's on the ground. That just doesn't put a pile of ink. That's the little uh, ink rocket right here. So the bow has, like, almost two firing modes. I, I That's kind of cool. Oh my god, and you can arc the bow too. That is... Oh, dude, the bow's like a mix of a slosher and a charger where you can arc it over walls and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. Getting another look at uh, probably Zipcaster here, I would guess. Yeah, I love that we can attach to the poles to really move in. Oh, wow, man. It, Zipcaster really does not last long, though. I mean, j just look how long Zipcaster lasts. Like, it, from the time they... Hold on. From the time they activate Zipcaster here... Like, we'll, we'll count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. About seven seconds, I would say, on Zipcaster. I feel like that needs to be a little bit longer, but I feel like... I love the new the squid roll. That was the new squid roll we saw. That's really cool. That special is so awesome. Man, that's like... like a, Oh, I just spilled my coffee. Uh, that's that's this great team support special. Uh, with the, the whole, I'm absorbing ink off the top here. I just, I, I'm sorry, I just spilled coffee. Uh, all over my hands. God dang it. Uh, 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 um, I'm so excited for Splatoon 3, man. I just, I'm spilling coffee. I'm hype as hell to do a small breakdown analysis of this. I love the new squid roll, avoiding the killer whale. Look at this. Watch. Right over, you can go right over and it makes killer whale 5.1 hard to track. And then right up here, we see this really good... Like this special, I don't know what it is, but it's like it's like an ink cleaner, but doesn't actually take the ink off the ground. I think that's such a neat idea, um, and it just absorbs all the ink into it, and it just do it just does really cool stuff. Curling bomb on the roller is back. That's so cool. That is so 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 cool. What? Ha Hold on. Okay, first off, Judd looks a little older. His hairs are looking a little frayed over here. What happened to Little Judd? <laughs> Did Little Judd give in to the chaos? Little Judd gave in to the chaos. See, Little Judd is like, I'm going punk. I'm going to be a punk cat. Boom! Spiky Little Judd. I love it. Oh. What? Oh my god. Okay. This. This is awesome. Everybody gets their own little shot. Of your winning animation. And you get like. You get your title under it. You get medals. Overall splatter. Popular target. Number one enemy splatter. Overall splatter. Probably most splats on the team. Popular target means you were targeted the most. Enemy splatter. 
uh, maybe splattered by the enemies the most. I don't know. I love the the personality here. Everybody gets to do their own. Everybody gets to do their own winning animation before it brings in the next character, and then you get a splash screen of all the winning poses. That is absolutely incredible. And we're getting it on September 9th of 2022. Wow. Yo, is that pro Char in the back? Yo, that's gotta be Char. Look at him. Well, I'm sure it's a lot later than some of us wanted. I had a feeling when they pushed Xenoblade 3 up that Splatoon was going to be at least August. Um, it's early September, which technically is still summer, but I'm sure some people are disappointed uh, that it is September because that's not really like, while it is summer, it's not really summer anymore because September 9th, a lot of the, the kids, at least where I live, go back to school here. So not the most ideal release time i would say but I, obviously it's splatoon 3 it's gonna sell well regardless i can't wait for this but there are some things i want to go into and, and look at here so let's let's go back in and take a look at not the crab tank i want to take a look at this end uh, this end part here when we have the bow because the bow does some really interesting stuff and i love that we can shoot this shield i think that's really cool but i really want to I, I really want i think this is the fight with the bow right here um, I really want to preface how cool the splat bow is going to be. It seems to be a mix of a charger and anything and another weapon. So let's let's watch it from here and just like kind of break this down. Now here's the bow here, obviously getting uh, shot at. So this new bomb thing, I don't know what it is. It almost is like an insta throw straight on bomb here, uh, where it does insta damage. I don't know what it is, but it looks like you're kind of throwing a flashlight almost. But it looks like when the bow is charged, like at any point, you notice how the glow, you can see the glow start here on the tip of the bow. Oops. Uh, you see the glow start on the tip of the bow, and it gets brighter and brighter. It fires three shots here. It fires. So that's the full charge on the bow. One, two, three. And they all hit at different angles. So we only get one here. The other two are down below on this platform, which is really neat. But now, watch this, because the bow goes behind this box. The bow is going to shoot again. Two of the three, the third one lands here. So obviously the bow is going to be doing some residual chip damage throughout its entire uh, entirety on the field. Don't really know how effective it'll be, but now watch. This character, they're going to back up. This bow arcs the shot over and all three land here. So I wonder, I wonder if the bows have like a switch mechanic. Obviously they can act as a shooter and they can act as like a mix of a charger But I wonder if they have like some sort of switch mechanic where if you switch it the shots fly more of an arc instead of straight uh, Because if you notice here like the first couple normal shots We're doing we're just shooting normally, but now suddenly they're behind they're clearly behind a box here they aim up and you can see it as the the rockets fly up here and hit down on the ground in a perfect arc as well and here's another one in a great arc. So I do wonder if the bows have like some sort of switch mechanic, which is really cool. I also really like the uh, the little squid roll here. We get a squid roll in combat uh, right here, right after the, the bows. And does it deflect ink? It does! You get like an armor sound effect. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to slow this down so you can you guys can see this. But I heard like the... Ar I did hear the armor sound effect here. And I wanted to go back because I'm like... I, I wanted to see the bow and I wanted to see the squid roll. Because we can break it down more in depth. This person is probably one or two hits away from being splat right now. They land in enemy ink, obviously. So that's going to build up a little damage. Now, watch what happens here in, in, in slow motion. Watch what happens. So, there's one squid roll. Then they squid roll. This first shot, they already shot. If I go back like a second. They, here's, their, here's the enemy shot right here. They start a squid roll. That hits the enemy. That hits this player right here and deflects. Look at that. It just bursts. No damage on, on the squid using the squid roll. None. It just bursts. And then they, they manage to get the splat because 52 gal says two shot kill. Um... That is so cool. So, a lot of, there are things in this game that kind of feel like, 
there it's pseudo ink armor now i do think that this roll is a very particular maneuver and sure you can do it back to back i wonder if there's a limit because it's really only going to protect you from the first maybe the first maybe two shots here's one hits second shot definitely hit you can see it explode like actually in midair um that's really neat and it looks like yeah you, it looks like you are armored look at the uh, the character as well when they perform the roll they're glowing kind of like how you would off the the spawn at the very beginning if i go back and we we see the people launch off the spawn again it's the exact same uh it's the exact same thing when the when the game starts watch you launch off the moment they land look armored armored it's the same glow all of them have the same glow and you go back to the uh that squid roll once again and it is the exact same glow right here it's the exact same glow so i wonder if it is invincibility frames i wonder if they are iframes i wonder if launching off the spawn you get iframes for maybe i would say two or three seconds but it looks like for the squid roll maybe you get a full second of invincibility while you're performing that roll i think that's really cool i think what they showed off here is absolutely incredible i think what splatoon 3 is going to be is going to be absolutely insane i love watching the zip caster and can we talk about the fact that they put the zip caster on the octo brush oh my god if they give short range if they give quite a few short range weapons like the aggressive octo brush and stuff like this more of a roll with zip caster so they can harass long range chargers or longer range weapons a little bit easier they give zip caster on those weapons it's going to be absolutely incredible um that's a great kit like right off the bat not only can you will you be able to fight at close and mid-range but you can use zip caster to challenge long range really cool now i do want to see when they zip cast are you invincible you kind of have like the glow which is interesting like you have the glow and i love the new uh zip caster icon that's really cute um you've got the glow like you're armored but i don't think you actually are armored now watch what happens though when you hit the wall that there's a there's an ink explosion uh and it's a small one right here but that does damage uh based on what we saw in like when they first revealed splatoon 3 where the zip caster landed right next to the charger the charger took damage from this so this can kill which i think is really neat uh it's only a small little explosion probably will probably can kill if your opponent's weak it probably doesn't do 100 damage but that's really cool either way this is just an absolutely incredible trailer sure again a little later than some people wanted september 9th but i'm not gonna complain i'm not gonna complain about it uh i love this platoon 3 it, this is like the actual splash art for what might be like when you load up a switch game the cartridge is like right there if that's what's on it that's beautiful i like that i can't wait to see what the actual icon looks like on the home menu i'm excited i'm excited for splatoon 3 i know a lot of us have been waiting for splatoon 3 um I've personally been waiting for Splatoon 3. Granted, I do have a couple Splatoon video, uh, Splatoon 2 videos still yet to come before Splatoon 3 comes out. But now that we got a date, everyone's marking their calendars. We know, hey, September 9th. Boom, I've got to do Splatoon 3. I'm excited. I'm super excited for it. I cannot wait for Splatoon 3. And I want to thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch this little trailer breakdown and reaction video. I love it i love what they're doing i love the more heavy the heavy like rock metal aesthetic that they brought into splatoon 3 and maybe the more punk aesthetic i love the new music i love everything um i'm excited for splatoon 3 if you guys of course are excited for splatoon 3 let me know what you guys not only thought of this trailer down in the comment section below but let me know how excited for splatoon 3 you are also down in that comment section below and of course if you guys enjoyed the video do me a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button for more awesome Splatoon content that will be coming to you. And a lot of it will be coming to you as well when Splatoon 3 comes out. And I can't uh, can't wait to record a bunch of Splatoon 3 uh, with you guys and with uh, fellow creators and friends and everything. So, yeah, that's all I got for this video. So, until then, and until the next trailer, until whatever we get next for Splatoon 3, this is CIJ Man 777 signing off. Stay safe, everybody.